Remember, remember the 5th of November, the gunpowder treason and plot. I know of no reason why the gunpowder treason should ever be forgot. Bars, okay. So we're starting off with lyrics. That's what's up. Professional rapper. Yo, 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 what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another movie reaction and commentary. And today we're going to be hopping into V for Vendetta. I don't know a damn thing about this film, and I'm kind of excited about that. I've heard of it. Uh, I know that Natalie Portman, from what I was able to see within looking this film up, is in this film. Uh, but that's about it. And if you're new here, just know that that's going to probably occur often. You know, whether if it's obscure films all the way to like films that apparently everybody has seen just take into consideration that i probably don't know a damn thing about it um but yeah i'm excited to kind of dive into things like this and really allow myself to gradually piece together the story and hopefully give some value into the filmmaking and hopefully educate you guys during the process along with some you know good old entertainment as well too but um yeah i hope that you guys are doing pretty well and i hope that you guys are you know doing good the universe and the weather i should say really it's been kind of like weird um so i know like you know these these videos do a lot more than just obviously entertainment education i know that there is a a deeper um a love that these videos are able to bring and i'm happy that that's the environment that we're able to craft here so if that is something that you guys you know could use or could need right now and if this video helps with that you know that's awesome shout out to everybody who is uh aware of the vibes that are you know on this channel and that's really cool it really makes me happy about that um yes with this uh with this film uh i don't really know again too much about it if you guys don't know we are doing an action poll right now for this month so literally all types of things action related action has a crazy amount of uh diverse uh just sub genres within it that you know is worthy of you know looking into and analyzing and studying and we can actually find out a little bit more about the film by tackling it from that angle uh, i love how the halloween one did in the last month um, i love all the different diverse types of films that we were able to watch and you know put into the horror genre and really analyze the horror genre outside of it being just a genre but also within its filmmaking usages so i think that's really cool and i wanted to kind of carry that over so right now if you want to get involved with the patreon we are doing an action poll so if you have any action films that you want to you know let me know about or you know the reasons to why i should check it out or maybe it kind of goes against the action uh genre and you still want me to kind of like you know uh, check it out and if there's like any reasons for why definitely check it out on the patreon um you can definitely list your comments and list your movie recommendations it's a really great time over there and people seem to really like it so that's awesome um but before we get into it you guys know the drill the best way to support me like i said is through patreon we got a lot of stuff going on like i just said so if you want to be a part of that by all means check out the link below you can also support the channel by leaving a like comment and subscribe if you haven't already and at the end of the day you guys know the drill. Just sit back, relax, get your popcorn and snacks as we hop into V for Vendetta. Again, guys, if you want to be able to watch and hear all that I got to say about this film, maybe your favorite part isn't in the YouTube edit, definitely check out the full length below. You're able to sync up your copy of the film next to mine and then get to hear all that I have to say. Sometimes I'll be, you know, cutting out like 15 minutes of additional commentary. Uh, so if you want to potentially learn more, laugh more have a good time more then there you go <laughs> you can check that out remember remember the 5th of november the gunpowder treason and plot i know of no reason why the gunpowder treason should ever be forgot bars okay so we're starting off with lyrics that's what's up professional rapper i read that the former united states is so desperate for medical supplies that they have allegedly sent several containers filled with all right never mind never mind we seem to be in modern times okay cool so i don't have any clue about what this film is <laughs> if you didn't know already you get to swallow it i've got your finger mint oh she's getting a picture no no please i didn't know i'm sorry not yet you're not but you will be there's a lot happening right now and i'm just taking it in is that like a, a form of policery like what was that this is a crazy unique world that we're in <laughs> 
Disdaining fortune. Ooh, that was a cool camera angle right there. What the heck? It was quick, but that was really cool. Yo, he really tried to punch the mask. I think I always get, and both films I haven't seen, the Mask of Zorro and V for Vendetta mixed up. I think those two just always get me mixed up. Plays Super K to suggest the character of this dramatis persona. Voila! In view, a humble vaudevillian veteran. Oh, this guy is like, he, he's feeling himself. <laughs> he is feeling himself. I'm like, dude, I don't. I don't know what you're saying, but you look cool. Vanquish these venal and virulent vermin, vanguarding vice and vouchsafing the violently vicious and voracious violation of volition. Yo, what? Say that fast. Actually, don't. I think you'll rip a hole in the universe. November the 4th. Not anymore. Wait, November the 4th? Ah, oh, it's November the 6th. That's hilarious. Um... <laughs> That's crazy. We were close to it. Crescendo. Oh, snap, yo. This dude is kind of dope. <laughs> this dude is kind of dope. I mean, that's probably very illegal, but that was awesome. Good. Mr. Etheridge. A recording device was found wired in. Also, the world here. I was not expecting to be thrown into a world like this. The will is to invite doubt into everything we believe, everything that we have fought for. Doubt will wow. plunge this country wow. back into chaos, and I okay. will not let that happen. So you, we definitely know the the rhetoric of these guys. Terror really means. This is this is. England prevails. Very interesting. I love the environment. I love this like elevation within security and surveillance. All to hold control, you know? Control, control, control. Okay. I can't believe you watch that shit. What? Laser lass is banging. I guess that's why, you know, at the beginning of the film, you know, when I was questioning why she had that crazy narrative on the tv just playing in the background it seems that this 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 thing that is veiling this entire place you know all for the sake of control has its hands in everything within media within a bunch of things you sure about that sir i just want a chance to talk to her before she disappears into one of creepy's black bags those two cops are interesting at least that guy because he's saying things that makes me believe that he might be working with the guy. <laughs> this is almost reminding me of Watch Dogs. <laughs> if you guys ever played that game. This is really cool. I'm still blown away that this is the film I got into. I, I don't even... I was not expecting this. Listen, the enunciation of truth. And the truth is, there is something terribly wrong with this country, isn't there? You designed it. I love that he's, his his weapon of choice is with words. And you can see it just with how he goes about himself, obviously. This dude's over here saying riddles like it's nothing, but he understands the power of them. And I love how he's using them. Granted, <laughs> not in the, the, <laughs> I'm trying not to say that. The terror word. <laughs> I don't know how YouTube takes with that, but basically, yeah, terror. ...of Parliament, and together wow, we shall here. give them a 5th of November that shall never, ever be forgotten. Damn. That was crazy. That was really crazy. I'm starting to see why the 5th of November was popping up in the comments. <laughs> I was like, why are you guys saying 5th of November? <laughs> You put masks on all of us. Oh, Jesus. Don't shoot you! Please! Don't shoot you! Don't Please! Oh, oh, this is awesome. Wear mask what? Down knees. Now. He put a mask on all of them. That's good. That's clever. I don't know how you did it, but that's clever. Everyone else, let's go. I do love that we're following the opposition instead of 
you know, <laughs> the max man himself. It feels like he's always one step ahead of them, or, which makes us. <laughs> Dad, damn, okay. That is pretty cool. This dude is saucy, bruh. <laughs> Damn! That was some anime movement right there. The editing is pretty G in this film. Oh, I don't know about that. I was not expecting him to just butt her with the head of the gun. Damn. Now, this is only an initial report, but at this time, it's believed that during this heroic raid, the terrorist was shot and killed. It's so insane how they can just manipulate the media obviously right this isn't foreign news to me but again just was not expecting to see this story portrayed like this i was i had no clue about this film but i'm loving it i'm loving that this is the story that we walked into you did what you thought was right oh no i shouldn't have done that i must have been out of my mind or is that what you really think or is that what they'd want you to think Mm. Interesting. I love that perspective is, is everything here, especially within the media, you know, revealing the truth. It's funny that it's coming from a guy wearing a mask. <laughs> yes. There, that's better. Whoa, yo. His hands were burnt. Like, they were scarred. I wish I believed that was possible. But every time I've seen this world change, it's always been for the worse. Mm. I tell you what I Wow. Damn, that is a hell of a statement right there. Wear a mask. Also, a man man that was not cool. Threaten innocent civilians. He's what every gutless freedom hating. This guy who is preaching about God and everything, and you flip the mirror and it's just a bunch of pills head to toe. <laughs> Daddy will be gone. I'm looking at the tape right now, and he has no idea how to light me. My nose looks like big fucking... And I love that in this shot, this frame, he's surrounded by mirrors. He's surrounded by TV of himself. Find another DOP or find yourself another I, know, I think it's great that, you know, the camera and the setting is all taking the symbolism and transforming that and, and elevating it with the filmmaking. I think that's why the environment, this world, is so fascinating to me because you can... You can see the symbolism. You can hear what he's talking about. V and his accomplice Evie. In a filmmaking level. I mean, look at this. Putting their message of hate, hate, a delusional and aberrant voice, delivering. Like nobody's house is literally like that. But this environment is his personality. Yeah, this is me, yo. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> There's no court in this country for men like Prothero. And are you going to kill more people? Yes. Damn, I mean, I love that. This dude just says it, man. There's no no cookie cutter, no nothing. He's just like, yeah, man. <laughs> I never saw them again. It was like. Jeez, that's terrible, man. It's interesting that her past involves something so closely related to the main character or our vigilante here. All the time, but I am. You know, that trauma is, has, has cornered her into a place where she's just accepted a lot of things. So it's really cool to, you know, see how the story is making her become strong again did your loveliness for an instant mea culpa my child mea culpa <laughs> this dude this dude man every time he does something action worthy is wallpaper wallpaper worthy Amnesty. I had nothing to do with the Bailey, and I made a terrible. Oh man! Wow! And she's still like, she's still like, like that's just crazy. Damn. Light for mind you have. I hope the rest of you is just as interesting. 
Please, you have to believe me. Oh, I, it's like delusional. It's 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 scary. It's scary delusional right here, man. Easy. Oh. <laughs> Clothe my naked villainy with old odd end. Yo, this dude is saucy as a mo oh, man. He is out here. I do love that with Natalie Portman's character, uh, she is still battling with it. She didn't just like 100% go on his side just to show you the difficulty of ridding yourself from, you know, the control of this government here. Like, it was that deep. That's crazy. Concentrate on the concerns of our present. You mean Lark Hill? Major Wilson is a friend of the High Chancellor. <laughs> he looks like Super Dave. <laughs> he reminds me of Super Dave when he talks like that. You How does that me? mean? It would be terrible manners for me not to trust you. What does that mean? <laughs> what? Everybody has secrets, man. I mean, I guess that usually is what probably would happen if you're under surveillance and control this entire time oh my goodness or early call him again i want that name mm, yep and that's probably her that's crazy <laughs> that's wild oh, he's gonna emerge from the shadows to kill that's cool that is really cool see i love that this film is using filmmaking to tell its story i always feel like films that are able to do that you know it just elevates everything it really is a beautiful language while you slept is there any pain no mm. wow he said he killed her 10 minutes ago while she slept Oh my goodness, that was really sweet of him. <laughs> the contents of this document are a matter of national security, constituting an assault on the character of several important party members. Why is his pupil so dilated? What is going on with that? His pupils are like his entire eye. It's in a world where a virus can kill an entire population and leave its wealth intact. So let's experiment on unfortunate people <laughs> how is that always the go-to why august the 18th of the original four dozen over 75 percent are now deceased jesus man this is this is dark i mean i'm pretty sure i probably can't show it but there is a mountain of bodies within a grave right now case that continues to give me hope you know, it's interesting because what I'm piecing together with everyone is their desires almost oversaturating their rights from wrong, even in our mass vigilantes case. Because killing is bad. <laughs> but in his pursuit, he believes it's right. Because I felt it. Wow. Oh my goodness, man. <laughs> I was not expecting this within this film. Oh, man. I got chills on that one. We threw out the censor-proof script and shot a new one that I wrote this morning. Oh, my God. Yo, everybody's like, oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness, bruh. <laughs> Oh, in a lot of ways, it reminds me of the network that we've watched good ways back. Talk about a film, right? My goodness. Similar themes, especially when using, you know, the media. Damn, this is traumatizing. That is ridiculously traumatizing. <laughs> oh my God. The fact that, regardless, she is still forced to lose herself and her identity. You know, she's she's not even, like, trying to get revenge or spread the truth. She's just a victim of being caught in the middle of all of this. So it's, it's interesting that we are following her mostly and also seeing her perspective. And I wonder how that's going to just change 
throughout the story. We are free. It ends whenever you want it to. Just tell us where he is. I don't know. Love that that gave her strength. I love that. Man, she is getting... She is getting effed up, man. You know, I'm happy that they're showing this. Because it's quite literally breaking her down. I mean, they cut her hair off. If there's any symbolism of, you know, transformation, it's definitely that. My lips but hers again. Damn, that is a beautiful shot. Damn, that is cool. I get goosebumps whenever they have those frames just popping off. It's so good. This film is beautiful, especially when it wants you to see how beautiful it is. <laughs> I remember how the meaning of words began to change. Mm. I love that words are, are reaching her too. Someone's autobiography written on toilet paper in a, in a cell is what's giving her strength. It seems strange that my life should end in such a terrible place. Wow, oh my goodness, that was her. What the heck? Wow. Talk about perspective. Incredible. Wow. With all my heart, I love you. Damn. Henry. That was... I was not expecting that. That was crazy. That was insane. It's kind of hard not to find the the motivation to keep going when you have that happening, right? That is that is incredible strength right there. No way is he What? Oh my goodness. No way. What the heck? Oh Dude, my mind is, is, is gone. My mind is gone. How the heck did he do that? So that was her that grabbed her. That's crazy. Listen to me, Evie. Yeah, jeez. Yeah, that's, that's a lot. That is a whole lot to handle. They took your parents from you. They took your brother from you. They put you in a cell and took everything they could take. Yeah, I don't think she's been able to properly grieve over the things that has happened in her life, man. Wow. Wow, this is cool. That is really cool. I got chills from that. That was insane. I love that they were paralleling that together. I want this country to realize that we stand on the edge of oblivion. I want every man, woman, and child to understand how close we are to chaos. I want- He's just going to evoke fear. He's just going to literally send shockwaves of fear. Golly, this hits close to home, doesn't it? <laughs> Oh, man. Everything that had happened. And everything that was going to happen. Mm, I love how he's saying that. I love that. So do you know what's going to happen? It was cool that they were showing us little glimpses of the future. That's cool. That's really cool. Shout out to whoever had to continuously set this up. Because I know they had to do multiple takes of this. Damn. Tonight's your big night. You ready for it? Are we ready for it? Mmm. I love how it almost seems like with his character, he's aware of everything. And even he knows that this, this thing that's happening, it almost seems... Out of human, almost. Like, beyond human. 
It almost feels like a, a, a natural law of things that it was meant to be this way because subversion of a natural concept or a construct was trying to be used for, I guess, human control. And this is what happens when you try to control things. The truth finds its way one way or another. But if they do, what do you think will happen? Well, it usually happens when people without guns stand up to people with guns. Ha! <laughs> Ain't that some some crazy-ish right there. <laughs> it's all gone wrong, isn't it? I love that everybody is able to feel this feeling in the air. You know, they feel this feeling of... Of, of something is about to happen, good or bad, change is about to happen. Yours. Bring him down. Tonight, we must remain steadfast. We must remain determined. Mmm. Love that nobody's watching the television anymore. That means they probably out about to start protesting. Let's get it. <laughs> Mr. Creedy. <laughs> Disgusting. Ooh, that was cold blooded. That was cold. That is crazy. Y'all. Yo, what? Yo, there's no way you can continue standing from that. This dude is a beast. Well, then again, he is burnt from head to toe, so he probably can't feel anything. <laughs> I wonder if that's the case. Is all of his nerves effed up so he just can't feel anything? Who is this dude? Love the little wow. Whoever fell like that, give them a raise. That was insane. But I love this little, this, this, this whole scene right here. This is awesome. The little trail from his knife. Oh, I love the blood exploding. Oh my goodness, man. This dude is piecing everyone together. Mr. Creedy, and ideas are bulletproof. Woo! Cold line. Cold. He told you he was gonna he's gonna end you with his hand around your throat. Damn. That was legendary. Holy crap. So was it this film that inspired Anonymous to have that mask idea? <laughs> yeah. If only, if only, right? If only, if only. Yo, this film is cool, man. This is a really cool film, damn. I was not expecting the layers in this. Wow, yo. <laughs> they got the soundtrack popping off to this. This is wicked. Oh my goodness. Wow. All right, everybody. And that is V for Vendetta. Damn. All right, everybody. We just got the V for Vendetta. First off, awesome title for a film. But man, so we're already starting off. This is for the people who, you know, didn't hear the intro or anything like that. But we're doing a, a genre-based uh, polling uh, this month and hopefully for future months over on the Patreon. And our poll for this month is action. And similar to how we did with Halloween with horror, I wanted to see how and what films I would be stepping into and how it challenges or you know goes full force within the genre in order to showcase a story to us a uh to you know a film uh you know themes all that good stuff and i'm so happy that you know v for vendetta is the first one to kick off this uh the you know the theme for our action polls here because what i love about this is that it uses action as a method. It uses action as a, as an ingredient to the overall recipe that is cooking here, you know. And 
it's so incredible when that happens and there's several things that pop up into my mind first off there's a lot of things that pop up into my mind after this uh after my first viewing of this film um but yeah this one i would love to just digest more and more and more and i'm probably going to do that while i'm editing but i relate this to um <laughs> to my video game people out there Watch Dogs Watch Dogs has something like this but also to the network um, and just how it portrays control how it how it talks about freedom and what freedom of speech truly means and what, what fighting for the truth truly means and I'm not gonna get too crazy with it because you know I'm, I'm gonna try my best to stick to the film here but Freedom of speech nowadays, I feel like it, it's it doesn't have the pursuit for truth. I feel like freedom of speech is more or less used in a way to uh, to get away with ignorance and to uh, speak. Um, uh, what's the word for it? Um, false narrative, and also used in a way to you know deflect the truth or deflect conflict when in reality conflict is just a is, a is a way of it's a way of life it's just a way of life you know change cannot happen without that of friction of conflict of chemical reactions etc so i told my breaking bad people who know what i'm talking about we're seeing it live really um but it's incredible with how they were able to use the the theme of finding truth, seeking truth, and and you know how that changes us as individuals, but also as a collective. And you know, hopefully, what you know taking out of this film is that the pursuit of truth, you know, through freedom of speech, through through words, and understanding the value of of actions, and then understanding that having consequences right and you know acceptance as well too there's a lot of things that are happening here that i just did not i was not expecting i just was not expecting to get thrown down this 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 um this very difficult uh yet intriguing and something that just really hits home for me you know it really hits home for a lot of reasons and i'm sure it probably hits home for a lot of reasons with y'all i just wanted to let y'all know that this is more than action um and again i'm happy that we had this film to kick off our month of you know action films because yes there's a ton of action yo <laughs> this dude is a beast did you see him break like the, the the laws of physics during the end there did you see him get into his anime bag at the end there when this film wants to do action it does it incredibly well but i feel like what's what's at play here is what's behind the action you know the words the the idea and the message that is within this film you know i think it's um it's it's really damn good it's really damn good uh, I love stuff like that. So there's so many things I, I want to say, but I'd rather just, you know, make a video about it um, because, you know, I want to do more content like that. So stay tuned for that. But uh, yeah, I would love to hear your thoughts on this one. This one was hefty, 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 hefty. Also, beautiful performance by Natalie Portman. That scene where she's breaking down all of her layers and she's having a, a, a like an anxiety attack, a panic attack, every attack of the word. Um, it's it was incredible seeing her 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 deep emotion through that scene and I feel like that really worked it really helped elevate um, the complexities that are happening within her because yeah we are following her story and we're also seeing her story but we're also seeing other people's story as well too um, so you know again the beautiful thing about acting is that you know the only one who knows this character's feelings is obviously the people who work on this film but also the actor as well too and i'm happy that with her natalie portman was able to understand the the character way more than you know what i know of right now too to a degree to where she's able to bring out such a performance that it it bridges that it bridges that connection you know it really does i just wanted to say that because that scene was phenomenal um, guys, let me know what your comments are down below. This was a really, really uh, pleasant surprise. I had a blast with this, as you guys can see. So, like always, guys, stay healthy, stay hydrated, because we are just getting started. Purple jacket, pocket full of weed. 
Everything that I should ever need Grab some matches cause they give them free Just like my time Hair pulled back in the backseat 